All right, here we go. We have got the War for Cybertron Siege. Well, really everything else at this point, aside from the leaders in today. Uh, all the Deluxes, all the Battle Masters, all the Micro Masters in Wave 1. And I'm going to kick things off by looking at Hound. And Hound may be my favorite of the new Deluxes. Um, Skytread's also up there. Skytread and Hound are kind of fighting for first place. Like I said, the Optimus and Megatron Voyagers are outstanding, and I was kind of expecting them to not be any any great shakes, and I'm really enjoying them the more I play with them. Hound and Skytread, I think, are my favorite of the two Deluxes. Which one's better? Um, I don't know, because they were both toys that I really enjoyed as a kid and like as characters. Um, I know Skytread doesn't have like a huge um, personality to draw from, but uh, like I said, I had him as a kid and I always enjoyed him. And uh, Hound, I've just always liked. So uh, they're, they're, they're in the top spots here. Well, we're going to kick things off with Hound because why not? And here he is. He is kind of a battle jeep. He does have an open top uh, with a frame here, but he's he's a nice chunky car. I mean, like a little different from what we're used to seeing with Hound, but he's, he's, he's armored up and uh, just really digging him. He rolls okay. He's having some trouble. His arms are under here, and they're kind of hitting some plastic. But um, just a fun little Jeep. He's got his little wheel back here that can also be part of his gun. Um, his shoulder cannon and a handgun. And, of course, with the weaponizers and the battle masters and the micro masters, you can arm them all up. And we'll get to those later in the week. But so here he is. Here's Hound. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and start transforming him. So you pull off the wheel, pull off the two guns... And the guns can do a lot of different things. You can uh, take this, uh, you can attach the wheel here to the back of his gun. I guess it's, it kind of looks like a wheel, but it's also kind of a ammo clip. Um, he has a little tab on either side, so if you want to, you can attach it to the side of his gun. It really all the, you've got a lot of options for how you, uh, and you know, he's got the same slot on this side. So whichever side you want to put it on, you can attach his little ammo barrel to the gun that way. Does it fit in up here? It does not fit in up here. So here on the side or on the back of the gun. You can also take his uh, shoulder cannon, and if you want, you can make a longer gun. Now, in this case, like, it sits okay like this, but there's this little ridge here at the top where this angle piece comes down. So I, I find with the, it sits a little tighter on the gun if you turn it sideways. You don't have to, but uh, I just find it helps. Then you can attach this back here and give him a longer barrel. And if you want to have you can do this and... Flip that up and you can hold it by the smaller peg as well, depending on how you want them to hold it. But So you got a lot of different options just before you even add in all the Battle Master and weapon upsets that they uh, have worked into this line. You've got a couple different options for Hound's Gun. We're going to go ahead. Personally, I like to have this on the back, but again, it's entirely up to you. We'll go ahead and stick it on the side just, just, just to get out of my own little rut there. But So there's a small cannon. There's a shoulder cannon. And then to transform them, we start, we come back here, we pop this. Should actually be snapped into place back here. Um, we pop this back piece up like that. Flip out uh, his feet. You can do this later if you want. But untab the front wheels here from the side because his legs form the whole side of the vehicle. So wiggle that off and with this piece up. Rotate the whole piece down and around like that. And then you just wrap it around. And there's a tab here on the inside of the leg that tabs into this piece. So you fold this up, tab it around, and then there's, you can see the ankle tilt in his foot. Same on this side. Flip his foot up. It also kind of fills in the little chunk in his leg. And then up here... Moving all this stuff around can get a little tricky because you got to get his arms out a little bit to the side. Untab this. It's a little harder going back to vehicle mode because you got to make sure the arms are out untabbed because they tab in right here uh, to, in order to lift this up. Then you just fold this down onto his chest. And again, you can see there's a little slot here in the arm. Just tabs onto his chest on both sides. Rotate his forearms so his arms are facing the right way. And this piece folds up and around like this. And then there's a tab here that tabs into this tab on his waist. Or a slot here that tabs in. 
and it can be, take a little effort to get it to tab in, but once you get it on, it stays on there. And it gives him a port on his back. And unfortunately, he has limited head movement due to this. Uh, actually, you can actually pull that flat back. Uh, so his head turns. He's got dual swivels at the shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge elbows. He does have wrist swivel, which is nice. He has a waist swivel, ball joint hips, a thigh swivel there inside there. Actually, that's dual swivel hips, not ball joint hips. But a swivel there in the thigh. A hinge knee to a pretty decent degree, and that previously mentioned ankle tilt, although only really this way, it doesn't go out at all. There's just enough room up here to attach his shoulder cannon. That peg's just long enough to sit that up there, and then he can hold his weapon. And again, he can hold it in all the various configurations that I showed off at the beginning of the video. But yeah, a pretty cool hound. Um, his Jeep mode is a little bit more armored up and like with the open top. Um, but uh, I'm super happy with him. I love Hound. Hound is great. And uh, it's nice to have a new version of him on the shelf. And we'll show him off like when we get to uh, some of the mic the Battle Masters, which are the Target Masters and, and Cog and all that stuff. We'll start showing him armored up. But here he is. Uh, here he is real quick with Optimus Prime. Although it helps if Optimus Prime actually comes into the frame. <laughs> Shooting for the Deluxe class and not, not accounting for the Voyager class. But they look really good together. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with him. Like, I, I Some people have been lackluster about him. I get it. But uh, I'm really, really happy with Hound. So there it is. Uh, Siege Deluxe class uh, Hound.